Let's see. I can never get these both lined up good. Oh, I think that's as good as it's going to get. Ooh, it's bright. Let's turn this down a little. That's really... There we go. Let's see. Oh, got a couple people on. Oh, Speed Cath Beth, you're the first one. Good morning. Hi, Francine. Hello. Hi, Beth on Facebook. Hi, Jeannie in Washington. Hi, Crafty Myrna. Hi, Janine. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Tammy on Facebook. Hi, Sherry on Facebook. Um, hi, Dot. Good morning. Hi, Nanette. Nanette. Uh, ever so loony. I love that. Good morning. Hi, Karen in Pennsylvania. Hi, Gail and Deb and Janet and Dolores. Hi, Barbara and Kelly on Facebook. Good morning. Hi, Annette. Hi, Carmen. Hi, M. Mays. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, in Indiana. Hi, Frank and Sharon. Yeah, you made it. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Anne Marie and Elizabeth. 14 degrees. Oh, wow. In New Hampshire. Whoa, that's cold. Hi, Jill in Pennsylvania. Hi, Deborah in North Carolina. Good morning to you. Oh, we used to sing that song in um, when I taught preschool. Hi, Beth. Hi, Jane. Um, the song was good morning to you. Good morning to you. The day is beginning. There's so much to do. Um, ooh, Julie got a gift certificate from her husband for Valentine's Day. Yay. Corinna says, I just made an A1 heart flip it card for my fiance for Valentine's Day, for Valentine's Day. Loving that pad from the card kit. Yay. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, good text. Um, hi, Sarah in Orlando. Hi, Lou Jean. Good morning. Hi, Anna. And so, oh, Facebook's already trying to reconnect. That's never good. Uh, hi, Teresa in California. Um, hi, Larissa. Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. Shelly says she's watching today with her grandson. Well, hello. Hello, hello. Um, hi, Diane. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. Hi, Stephanie K. in Oceanside. Not too far. Jeannie says, are you going to be on HSN Facebook tomorrow? Let's check. Uh, I got like 12 different emails this morning. Finally, you're starting to get our stuff back on, and it still says sold out. Uh, it's not good. Um, so there's a glitch somewhere um, because I don't know if I told you guys, they um, found out our warehouse moved, and so they shut everything off. Good times, good times, good times. And didn't even tell us. So now we're trying to get everything back on because we proved to them we are still everything normal. Um, so hang on, let me see if my emails say anything. Uh, nope. Okay, so uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Um, Sue says, love the card kit A1 heart set. Yay, me too, me too. Um, Oh, Frank said Sharon got uh, says I got the extended markers for Valentine's Day. Lucky you, Frank. I'm telling you guys, I was having so much fun yesterday. I just wanted to play and play and play. They moved again. Sharon, no, they did not move again. Um, they just moved once. And um, somehow, like six months later, HSN decided to shut off our account. No, it was it's just been good times. Good times. Hi, Nancy and Tim, Mr. Empty Wallet. Um, hello, hello, in Surprise, Arizona. Hi, Kathy in Maine. Hi, Lisa. Ooh, she got a, Lisa got a gift card from her mom for Valentine's Day. Yay, that's awesome. Was Ken happy with the outcome of the big game? No, Rhonda. He actually wanted the Tiger people, Bengal, Bengals. I always say it wrong, so I tell, call them Tiger people. The Ohio team. He wanted the Ohio team to win. And uh, so he was very sad. But, I mean, he doesn't really care that much. Um, so he doesn't care that much, but, uh, he was like, ah, they won. So I thought it would be really cool for the, the Ohio team to win because it's like, it was in the Rams backyard, which I think is a little too much like bonus points. You know what I mean? It's like in their home backyard. I mean, it's in their stadium. So it's in their time zone. It's their fans. So I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Elizabeth, thank you for reminding me. She wanted to know what my label maker so my new label maker, and literally it's right here on my window ledge because I use it all the time. And I do not get, this is not an ad. I do not get um, anything for this, but I just do love it. 
Um, it is called the P Touch Cube Plus. P Touch Cube Plus. In fact, I love it so much. I bought one for Kirsten for Christmas. Uh, it is amazing. You use your phone with this one, but, and I wish I could show you one, but I can't because um, my phone is being used up there, but it, it uses like thick tape. So you can use like the tape I use is like this wide. So it can have, I wonder if I have any, uh, I don't think I have anything. Most of the stuff's the baby stuff that I use and you can design your own labels. So um, Barbara says, tell him the quarterback on Rams came from the team who was last in the NFL last year. Oh, well, that's good, Barbara. His mom must be proud. I'm always I'm always such a dork because whenever I watch him do like a touchdown or a kick or something, I'm like, oh, their moms must be so happy. Because, you know, seriously, what if you had your kid play in the NFL? Wouldn't you be like, oh, oh my gosh, that's so cool. So I just think that. Um, a lot of random noises out there. Uh, so yes, I love this one. I think it comes in white. I'm bummed I didn't get it in white. I didn't know why. I don't know why I didn't get it in white. I should have bought Kirsten a white one and then traded with her. I don't know why I didn't do that either. Um, but it's a great little thing. The only thing is, is when you don't use it, every time you go to use it again, you have to do the Bluetooth to your phone, which I guess is not that big of a deal, but it's a hassle and a half. But once you know how to do that, it just, and it's like all, Oh, it's back on. It's back online. Will the cross fold it um, be on the website? Yes, eventually it will be on the website. Yes. Um, let's see. Oh, and then my other, I don't know. See, I have two. Here's another one. And this was not set up. They literally are always right here. Um, this is an, this is the original label maker that I had, which is kind of handy too. It does smaller labels. This is the one I use um, for all of my um storage envelopes, my Totally Tiffany um, pocket pages. Um, this one is smaller tape. This one is only 0.35 inch um, tape. And so it's kind of handy. You can see the words. What's this? Oh, this one is 0.94 inches because we couldn't do an inch apparently. So uh, yeah, so this one is 0.35 and I use this one for all my storage envelopes. So those are my two label makers. And ironically from the same company, Funny, right? Yeah, P-Touch. Um, oh, Susan says Bluetooth is a great battery drainer, so not good to auto-connect. Oh, okay. I didn't even know you could auto-connect. See, it shows you how much I know. Um, Jill says I have that P-Touch. Yeah, they are fabulous. They are. Um, uh, yes, yeah, Cynthia wants me to remind you, do not forget to like and share. Well, the new brush markers be on flash sale. Are let the, the, they're on special price. So they are going to stay on special price for the rest of the day. I mean, for as long as we can keep them in stock. Um, let me check really quick to see how many we have in stock. I know some people are waiting for tonight's release. Um, let me look. Hang on. It's loading. See, even I get to see the spinning wheel sometimes. Uh, well, and that, it doesn't help that my internet's being used by three different devices at this moment. Uh, let's see. Not very many left. We've sold about 90% of our stock. Um, so yeah, that's getting pretty, pretty low. Um, yes. Um, Don says, my husband has taken over my second label maker, may need to get the cube, then I know he won't take it. Ooh, there you go. What model is the other brother one? The, the white one? It is, and you know what? It, they might have an updated version because this one is kind of old. I should put like the date I bought it, huh? It is, okay, here it is. It is model PT for P-Touch. Oh, what is that? A D? Oh, D as in dog, 210. So it's PT dash D as in dog, 210. And apparently it takes batteries, but I always have it plugged in. So I didn't know it took batteries. Does it? Well, there's no batteries in it apparently because it's not turning on. I always have it plugged in. Um, happy Valentine's Day to you, Speed Cat Beth. Hello. Hi, Sally Joe in, in Colorado. Any sneak peeks for tonight's video? Um, let me see if I have anything handy. Let me see. Uh, oh, gosh. I'm, I'm my, account, my release schedule right now is like a year in advance. So I gotta go back. Uh, it's tomorrow the 15th. Oh, 
there's a little peep coming out. And those of you that want, oh, I have this right here. Hang on, let me go get it. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Ooh, ooh. Hang on. I thought I had it right here. Oh, I do. So the foundation to the core, we don't have very many of these, but the foundation core uh, packaging and but um, this is for night. There's not very many of these. So those of you that don't do the trays, that's good because there's not very many of these. But it says lucky. And then it says happy St. Patty's Day. And then it has a cute little um, four-leaf clover. Sorry, it's hard to look at on camera. Um, so that's coming on tonight. And I get to paint mine soon. Also, just a heads up, they package theirs so cute, don't they? Because usually it would be in a store to try to buy it. And I will, I will Kimberly, I'm going to answer your question one second. Um, but save this ribbon because you can use that. Hello. And I've even saved all the fluff that's in here, all the little blah, blah, blahs in my gift wrap section. So um, Kim says, Stephanie, what totally Tiffany desk made item do you have behind you? Um, it is the pen and ink palace. I use it for my scraps, but don't buy it for your scraps because something better is coming to our website soon for that. Um. Am I going to come out with a pink Sara? Stephanie, at this moment, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, but we do have some purple items coming soon. Coming next month, purple buddy bags. Um, ooh, they say you can't hear me. Yeah, internet sounds like it's going in and out. Bummer. Um, the baby's birthday party is going well. It is, we found some pinatas. So we have pinatas. My dad got us one and we got some others. Uh, we hi uh, KJ hired a taco guy. Now that always sounds so expensive to me, but we priced it. And the guy that we use for taco guy, um, he brings his cart and he makes the, tor the tacos for you. You know, he literally is cheaper per person, um, than my, um, than like getting, um, food brought in. And so, and it's hot and it's kind of cool to have a taco guy, you know. So we're doing that. Um, was the home decor magnetic? No, it's not magnetic. Um, will the Stamps of Life be selling Black Lois bag bundle? No. And uh, we might eventually have the Black Lois bag, but it won't be a bundle. I have to buy too many. Um, how are the, so the party, um, I made the mistake of thinking it was this coming Saturday. Luckily, I have an extra week. Um, I told Ken, you know, there's so much to do. There's so much to do. And I gave him a list. I gave him an item to work on for decorating. And I want him to put up these lights on our patio. And um, is the little peep an animal or a person? It is an animal. It is an animal. And there is a fold it coming which has been highly requested for a long time tonight. Uh, so the taco guy is awesome. Um, horrible. The audio is horrible on YouTube. I'm sorry. Um, how many new items for tonight? Technically five. If you count the little peep stamp and the die is two. Um, so yeah, we're, I luckily Ken and Ken's like, you need to, you need to, you need to just like stop stressing about their party. And I'm like, I, he goes, if you, if you're stressing about their party, you are doing too much. And I'm like, wow, words of wins, words of wisdom from my husband. And so, um, we made it work that, um, I, I gave Katie some things to work on for me. And so I'm just trying to spread it out. Uh, so that's really good. Um, also, oh, Kimberly saying hit refresh on YouTube and that should help. Thank you. Um, and it, Jill says, seems like it was just their birthday a short time ago. Jill, I know. Is that the weirdest thing ever? Yeah. It feels like it was yesterday, their birthday party. And to think they're two now, they're going to be two on the 28th. Um, so, um, Connie says, hello from Alabama. I haven't received my stamp club set this month. It has never been this late um, before. Yeah, Connie, post office sucks. Yeah, we can't do anything until it's been 30 days, unfortunately. Um, Jeannie says, I love how you and Ken really watch out for each other. We we try. We try. We have our moments. Don't don't think that we 
we have our moments, trust me. <laughs> but um, but he he's he's really trying to make sure that I don't have too much on my plate, which I do appreciate because I, I have the tendency to say, I'm gonna do these 40 things for this event, right? Because the baby's birthday parties um are really a big deal to me. And Kirsten's like, Do you need me to do anything? I'm like, nope, I got it all handled. So I'm kind of like the birthday nana, right? And so um, are you making a big number two filled with balloons this year? Ponce, yes. However, got smart this year and I bought the big number two. And you guys will see pictures. Don't worry. I'll be showing a lot of pictures. Um, oh, the birthday theme. Um, Sula says um, the birthday theme for the baby's party is Taco Tuesday. T-W-O-S day because they're going to be two. And so then we're doing like the whole fiesta theme. Um, we're using, of course, all of our dyes. You can hear my dog barking. Sorry. We're using all of my dyes and things like that. So we're going to have a lot of fun with that. But so that's the theme. And uh, so we're not going to break the pinatas. We're just going to have them for decoration. My mom bought um, little um, at Party City. She bought little fake mustaches. Um, stickers that are really cute. That's fun. And then um, Jill says her twins are 27. Uh, Ramona. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ramona. I love you. Took my advice for the scraps. Ramona. It was, that was one of the top tens ever. Seriously. Um, and I got to show that again because it was one of the top tens. Um, but so the party, I think we're pretty much, you know, getting there and Katie's helping me do some stuff and I got to make a banner. And, uh, what else? Oh, I, so last year, last year I did a balloon arch. I made my own balloon arch cause I'm way too cheap. Oh, wait, I was talking about the number, the number two. So the number two, um, out of foam I bought on Etsy this year. Now it was a little bit more expensive than I would have liked. I think it was like $25, <laughs> but I just had to glue it together. It was all perfectly cut. It looked amazing, and I'm really trying to impress certain people that are coming to this party. Not that I should care what people think, but I'm trying to impress people, and so it's perfectly laser cut, and it was kind of worth it because I remember, like, I burned my... Well, I mean, I still had to glue gun it together, but um, I didn't have to cut anything. It was all pre-cut, and it was worth it. So then... Um, but also the balloon arch so last year, I did a balloon arch that went like this. Cause I was way too cheap and there's no, balloon arches are really easy to make, by the way, do not hire people to do balloon arches cause they charge a fortune Buy the materials Buy the little, there's a little blow up machine that costs 25 bucks on Amazon. You can blow up two balloons at a time. You blow them up and then you tie them together. So there's two balloons tied together. So it's one knot, but two balloons and you can make your own for like, way cheaper. And then you have the materials to make a balloon arch the next year, which I'm doing this year. And so last year I did one that was an arch like this, right? Well, this year I bought PVC pipe and I bought a PVC cut. See, I'm a crafty person. I'll do anything crafty. Um, I bought a PVC cutter that you can cut the PVC pipes. And I have a six foot. Now it's going to be, it, it has stands at the bottom and it's going to go up and then it's going to go straight. And then it's going to have a fun background of like um, little, uh, I don't know, whatever you call it. And then it's going to have balloons, but in a like a square kind of shape. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and that's already been built. I just need to do the balloons when it's time. Um, so that's something. Now, Ramona. It was Ramona, right? Oh, gosh, I got to remember this stuff. But my scraps, you guys. This was a game changer. I, I can't hold this up. This was a game changer for my scraps um, because she had the idea to use my, my, all my scraps are now in here organized by color. They're not laying on top of each other anymore. So now if I need red, I can find red. So like, you're like, oh, Stephanie, oops, sorry. You're like, oh, Stephanie, do you have any yellow scraps? Oh, my friend. Yes, I do. I have, oh, that one actually has some stuff on it. That's why it's in my scrap. But I'm like, oh, yes, my friend. I have lots of yellow scraps. Look at all the yellow scraps I have because they're all organized in this. So it was so funny because Faileen watched the video and she's like, uh, can I order three? <laughs> so, yeah. So I have one extra one coming for me and Faileen ordered three. So 
Michelle says, yes, ma'am. That's what I did for my community with the balloons. Awesome. I love, oh man, Marie has a PVC cutter too. I know. Isn't it awesome? I, it is very cool. And it wasn't expensive. It was like, I think it was like $25, which it is, it's a solid tool. You're going to have it the rest of your life. Literally. Um, will there be a St. Pat these day release this year? Bella's turning 18 on St. Patrick's day. Corinna. Um, no, we only, we released the leprechaun hat fold it. And that's the only St. Patrick's day release that we have for St. Patrick's day items. That's all we have for that. Betty says, true story. I made a balloon arch for a friend's baby shower and blew up all the balloons before I transported them to the party site. Burst some balloons. Oh, yikes. Yes. Anne says Amazon. Yeah, I bought it on Amazon. Um, I really don't go to the stores very often anymore. Um, I do almost everything online um, just for, you know, safety reasons and everything. I, I'm not that I'm like scared or anything, um, but I, I, I'm, I'm a very good person that stays home. I, I mean, that doesn't make sense. I am a homebody. Like if Kenny said, do you want to go out to a restaurant or do you want to have it delivered? I'd say delivered because we live in an area that it, there's like, I mean, that's like a very easy place to get stuff delivered. I mean, it's, it's yeah. Um, uh, I saw a PVC pipe sprinkler for the little ones. Whoa. Oh, um, <gasps> Michelle says I bought the blow up balloon maker thingy when it was on special for 16 bucks. That's awesome. Anne says, what do you think about the uh, mask update for California? Um, and I, uh, I, I don't want to get into, I don't want to get into, uh, no, I don't, yeah, I'm not, we won't, we don't want to talk about it. I, and I, I didn't mean to say that I'm afraid to leave the house. I'm certainly not. Um, I just am a homebody. I live in my leggings and, uh, if I don't have to put makeup on, I'm a happy girl. <laughs> I do get dressed up for church. Every Sunday I get dressed up for church. I wear a dress usually to church every Sunday, put makeup on and things like that. Um, I do like to go to church. Um, Robin says, I'm using the Gemini Mini now to make hearts. Do you know when the MIDI will be available? Robin, we're working on that. I'm um, getting the MIDI available. I have um, I have uh, an email into them and we're working on trying to put a bundle together. The only problem is um, there's, you know, after a club discount and everything, I think we literally make like $4. The problem is, is it would get you to the free shipping, but we only make $4. And so then shipping is going to cost extra. And then we start losing money. I know it's all math. I hate math. I hate math. So I um, went back to Crafters Companion and said, hey, you guys got to help me out on this price because I'm going to end up losing money if I try to sell this. But I do like the midi, so I really want to do that. Michelle says no makeup every day. Amen, Michelle. Amen. Uh, I would like to carry the midi most definitely, but we're working on that. Reagan says, I'm, my husband is a home buddy, but I'm not. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um. Jeannie says, I'm a home buddy too. Spent too many years traveling and putting it too many hours for work. It's nice to enjoy my home. That's actually how I feel, I think. Um, Deborah says, I get it. I actually just enjoy staying home. I'm content and happy. I, I do too. You know, my kids are, you know, five minute walk away. And I really just like being home. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I really do. Um, Lolly says, I just ordered the mini. Lolly, you are going to love the mini. Love it. I use it as often as I possibly can. Um, Annette says my mini folder today warped the first time I use it. Is that normal thing? Yes, it's normal. It's totally normal. And what you can do is if it warps too much, then you flip it the opposite way. Then you like invert it. So if it's going, if it's going like this, then you can flip it and then do it like this and then go through that way. So yeah, totally normal, totally number, totally normal. Um, once you told us the MIDI was not worth it, what changed your mind? Um, it, it's not worth it because of the price for me to carry it. Um, it's really, it's really hard um, because the price, um, there's no, there's no wiggle room. And um, that's the problem. That's a problem. Um, how is Katie doing in her new apartment? She's doing good. She's doing good. I told you she got a cat, right? She got a cat and the cat's name is Butter. 
still haven't figured out that name. Um, but now we have butter cookie, we have lemon cookie, we have all these, we're a food family apparently. Um, lemon was here for a couple of days. That went okay. Um, that was kind of um, crazy, but we did fine. Um, Ponzi says, I enjoy staying home as well. My husband doesn't like it. I'm trying to get him to craft with me not happening. <laughs> um, Teresa says, you also spent so much time at the shows. I did. And uh, I think that I feel like it took a couple of years off my life <laughs> because that was the most exhausting time of my life by far. It, it was a very exhausting um, time because, and, and it sounds so glamorous. Business travel is glamorous for the first trip. After that, it's work. And it's always funny because most people will trap, they will get in a plane and get off a plane and then they get to go to a hotel. Well, we would get off a plane, go straight to the convention and start setting up for eight hours. And then we'd go get dinner, we'd go to sleep for a couple hours, then we'd wake up and go to the convention all day, you know, and then just keep going on and on and on. So Francine says, for the large Gemini, is the slot nine inch or 12 inch? It is nine inch. It is nine inch or eight and a half, I think. Technically, I think it's eight and a half. Um, Reagan says, I ordered the mini yesterday and some extra folders. Good idea. Um, I did cut a bunch of stuff yesterday and for some of it, the items would have been easier in the mini. I know it's true. Teresa says, any reason the beehive and other dyes, which I assume whoops, are out of stock, are not on the web page? Teresa, they're on the web page, but they're all sold out. And so we took them off the home page. They're still on this website, but we took them off the home page because nothing irritates people more than seeing a whole bunch of things that say sold out. So they're just off the home page, but they're still on the website. Um, but good question. That was a really good question. Um uh, Caroline says, I got a, some stamps of life stuff, but I never have enough time. Isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? Janice says, my husband and I are both home buddies. He turns wood and I stamp and sew. Oh, Janice, I wish Kenny had a, a hobby. I could see like whenever I, back in the day when, um, I took a break from stamping, which would have been when the kids, I don't know how old they were, but they were little. I would, I had a saw, I had a table, not a table saw, I had a jigsaw and I would cut out these awesome um, wood pieces and everybody at Christmas time got all these awesome things from me, like decorations for Christmas, like big snowmen that I would paint and like all kind of like the home decor stuff that we have on the website. And I would just do all this stuff and I would cut it all out myself. Um, Kenny doesn't do that kind of stuff. So I'm jealous that you said your husband's into doing stuff like that. Um, Larissa says, we all complain about COVID, but it gave us a chance to re reset. Oh, actually, that's true. That's true. Um, Ponzi says, the beehive is still not available because it was a monthly set. Is that correct? Yes. So it will be available for the tw on the 20th. It will be available on the 20th. Um, Ivy says, I bought everything on flash sale. Can't wait to get it. Yay. 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 Um, Anne says, I always describe colors with food and it makes my sisters laugh. I know. Isn't that true? Like I'll, I'll see something and I'll go, oh, that looks like candy. Or like, I'm like, oh, that's definitely a blueberry color. And Ken's like, nobody knows what you're talking about except me. <laughs> oh, Ellen, your husband got a 3D printer. Oh my goodness. I want a 3D printer. You know what else I want? And Kenny said, no, because we have no room, obviously, is I want a Glowforge, maybe not a Glowforge, but a equivalent laser. I would love to get a laser. I buy so many things for the babies that need a laser that I could, would love. Um, I really, really, really want a laser, but Kenny said no, which I understand because I don't have time. Um, but, oh, let's see. Hang on. Um, Annette says, my hubby just used my dies for the first time today with Will with harmony was it while harmony was napping in the cards for four, he made cards for four kids how sweet how sweet a laser yes i want a elizabeth says wow glowforge dream list i know because it cuts out wood and you could do all these cool signs and um the babies have um that ikea table that has the spots where you put the bins in so you can put like rice and you can put like 
you know, beans and let them play with it. They're called sensory bins. It's like the new thing. And so every time they come to my house, Nana's house, I have like a setup for them where they can play and do different things. Well, there's all these cool things that I want for them that a Glowforge could make, but I don't have a Glowforge. And on Etsy, they're like $35. And I'm like, it's a piece of wood this big with three holes in it. And you're going to charge me $35. I can't buy that. So I'm really sad about that. Anne says, how's your hair look? It looks good. How's your hair? Um, it's actually, well, first of all, it's always dirty on Mondays because I usually wash it on Tuesdays, but, um, it's very, very thin. Like when I walk, it's still, well, hang on, let's try it. Katie says, I'm not supposed to do this, but, um, oh, good. Only one came up that time. Um, I'm still losing it. I don't think, um, Lolly said that I complimented a man today on the color of his pickup truck and he told me it was denim blue. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so my hair is um, still kind of slowly falling out, but um, I feel like the hormones, but like, look, you can see through it. Like, like when I walk down the hallway, you can see, like literally see through my hair. Um, it, it's, it's less, it's definitely less. And I will be honest, I have, um, I have looked into getting wigs already um, because, and, and this is why Katie's like, it's too early. And I said, no, 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 you're right. But I want to be prepared and it will take stress off me if I know what I'm going to do, if it gets really bad. So I have found on Instagram of all places, these wigs that literally like somebody will be in the video and they'll be going, look at my hair. Isn't it pretty? And then they'll go like this and they'll lift it up and you'll see it's a wig and their hair looks amazing. And so at least I have a backup plan. And I figure if I have a backup plan, then I won't stress about losing my hair. And then maybe I won't lose as much hair because they say, my doctor said, you're too stressed. And I said, no, doctor. My life is as easy as it has been in the last 15 years. I mean, everything is good right now. There is no stress. But he said, you own your own company, there's stress. And I said, oh. So... But I figure if I have a backup plan, then I'll have less stress. So that is going to be, does my public library have a laser machine to use? I don't think so. Karen says, tell them you're a teacher. <laughs> tell who I'm a teacher. Um, let's see. Oh, try Home Depot for wood. Oh, I love, did you know Home Depot is my favorite store? By far. Um, um, Bonnie says, why are you worried about excessive stress? Because my doctor says the stress is causing some of my hair loss. Um, but I have been on the hormones now almost about six weeks, I guess. So we'll see. My daughter is a hairdresser and lost her hair due to COVID and she has added extensions and it looks great. That is what Katie said. Katie said um, possible. <laughs> Debbie says this is delayed effects of prior stress. Debbie. <laughs> uh, um, um, yes, the Glowforge is way too expensive, Ellen. That's like one of the reasons why Kenny says I can't get it. And, you know, it's like it like is burning wood and my neighbors would kill me. Um, it feels like you have a hat on all the time you wear a wig. I did it in the 70s. Um, you have short hair over my long hair. Um, yeah, but some of the new wigs look like they were called lace wigs because I don't know. I don't know. I just, I got, I have to have my backup plan. And that is my backup plan. Um, Dreadneck says, I have a 3D printer. It was a COVID purchase. Some people got air fryers. We got a 3D printer. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Um, Jeannie says, HSN has wigs that look nice. That's a great idea. I have gone keto and my hair is thinning too. Well, and Jeannie, yes, I do eat low carb. So that doesn't help me either. Um, so yeah. I have a couple strikes against me, but again, I'm just embracing it. I'm not going to worry about it and I'm just going to let it happen. Whatever happens. Um, Michelle says, I've been losing my hair since my early twenties. Yeah. My doctor says it's stress, but now I have no stress. Shouldn't it stop doctor? No answer. Very frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so my, um, uh, my doctor said that being on the hormones for, he said a month, but I read online, it said two months. So that should help. I do feel like it's slowed down. 
I do feel like it's slowed down. So menopause can also cause hair loss, Jennifer. Yes, you're right. And I think that's part of it. I definitely think that's part of it. Teresa says, you'll always be beautiful inside and out. Bless your heart, my love. Thank you. Thank you. So Lori says, I really want to get a couple of wigs, but I don't know where to buy them. Google it, Lori, and look up lace wigs. Now, they are very expensive. But Katie, my daughter, pointed out to me, how much do you spend on getting your hair colored? Like right now, I have not gotten my hair colored in months and months and months because my doctor said I'm not allowed to. He said, I don't want you to do anything to your hair right now. You cannot do anything. I have had my thyroid checked. Thank you. And she's, Jill says, shorter cuts make it healthier. Actually, I know we cut off four inches. And every time I see Kirsten, I tell her I want to go like a little bit shorter just, just to like keep it healthy. So I am going to try to do that too. Um, thank you. Michelle says my hair looks great. Thank you. It, it look, I, I did brush it, but I did take the dog for a walk. So it looks kind of messy. Um, make sure a wig lets your scalp breathe. And that's what I think those lace ones do because it's more, it, it's not, lace is not a good re word for it, but that's what they call them. But it's more of a breathable type fabric, I think. Paula's wig website. Ooh, okay. Thank you. See, see, I love that we are all just such a great community that we all just, you know, share and it is what it is, right? I mean, and it's, it's, it's our bodies. Our bodies are going to start, you know, getting older. It's not a big deal. I mean, it's what in your heart that counts, right? Um, shadow root coloring. It's awesome. It doesn't kill the roots. I'll have to look into that. Um, take biotin. Yes, Karen, I started to take biotin and I started getting sick from it. I suck. You can't make this stuff up, you guys. Um, Wendy says, I got mine cut short. It was to my waist. I actually love it now. Mine, wow, to your waist. That's amazing. Desert Flower says, I lost, I have lost a lot of hair and it's gotten thinner. Not shampooing often has helped me. Yes. I sometimes use com conditioner as shampoo too. Yes, my, um, Ponzi says, my hairstylist told me to cut my hair shorter and to avoid using heavy conditioner. Hi, Vicky. Um, yeah, that, um, yeah. So my, I only wash it once a week and, um, that helps. Um, I took the biotin pills. I don't know. Maybe if Sharon would, I mean, maybe, um, uh, gummies would help. Sharon says my mom used to wear wigs to work because they're easier to fix. We never knew her real hair color. She dealt 21 in Reno. Ooh, you know what? That's what they say. You know, I was like starting to look at, some, I mean, cause some people wear wigs, and they don't need to, but it's just easier to fix. It's easier to deal with, you know, so they always look good. So I don't know. I recently, oh, and it says I recently developed hypothyroidism. Yes. Yes. Now the weird thing, you guys, because um, Dawn says the gummies for hair and nails is great. Take them every night. The thing is, is my nails are awesome. I have really good nails. Like I literally have to cut my nails. Um, so like here's, well, I mean, I literally just cut them. So you can't really see. But, the, and they're a little dirty, sorry. But I have really good nails. Like I literally have to get the, the cutters out and cut them because they get too long. Um, so it's pretty crazy. Teresa says they just forgot to tell us that all this stuff would happen as we get old. Isn't that the truth? I know. Like it's interesting because my mom's generation like never really talked about menopause. My mom never talked to me about, um, you know, that kind of stuff very much. And I'm like, you know what? I think we need to talk about it more. I think we need to talk. We, I mean, it happens to everyone. I mean, all, all women, it does, it does. Um, so, I mean, it's just, you know, it is what it is. We just got to deal with it. Right. Um, Michelle says, I wash my hair two times a week and don't brush it because it's so curly. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, I'll need to look into the gummies for the um, biotin. I will. Um, Yellow Rosa says, your hair looks really cute in your previous videos from the other company. The shorter cut was very flattering. Thank you. I think, I know, I think I need to go back to that, um, like, and and just go to like, right, I, th I don't know, like right here and just clean up some more. Um uh, PCOS is a big one for women too. So many side effects and hair loss is a huge one. Oh, I don't know what PCOS is. Anne-Marie College and Michelle said, yes, I know. Yeah. I will always feel 18. Anne said that, you know, isn't that the truth? Like, okay. So people say like, Stephanie, why don't you drink? And I'm like, can you imagine 
this person drinking, that'd be even crazier, right? But um, desert flowers, we do need to talk about it. I agree. Thank you. I agree too. Um, but I, I feel like I'm not old enough to drink. <laughs> is that funny? Like, I feel like I don't think I, I could dry. I mean, like I could actually go to the grocery store and buy alcohol, but I don't feel like I'm old enough to buy alcohol. <laughs> I still feel too young too. Um, so that's all that matters, right? Um, oh, Melinda, the chin hairs. Let me tell you about the chin hairs. No one told me about that. Um, oh, Kenny's saying, oh my gosh. Oh gosh, Kenny's texting me. I got to go pretty soon. Okay, but um, yeah. The, oh, polycystic ovar ovarian syndrome is PCOS. Oh, yikes. Yeah, female hormones are just a joke. But I'm hoping the hormones that they put me on will help with all of that. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. So um, Ramona says, yes, our generation is more open with kids. My mom never told me anything, not even menstrual stuff. I talked to my sons about everything. That's good. That's good. Um, Karina says, oh my gosh, I have chin hairs. And they come back in the same place all over the time. They make me crazy. I know, isn't it awful? And then what's even worse is like, you'll go, okay, okay, everything looks good. And then you go get one of those blow up mirrors and you look at it and you go, what the heck? Where'd those come from? I'm like, are you kidding? Um, Tammy says, nair for facial hair, upper lip, and chin. So nice. Oh, I might have to try that. Um, Laura says, I lost quite a bit of hair when I had thyroid cancer. They would check my thyroid hormones and they were fine. I had a PET scan for something else, and that's how they found my thyroid cancer. Wow. Elizabeth says, what did they put you on, Stephanie? I don't know. It's a little orange pill that's a circle. It's a real ball. It looks like a little ball. And then there's these white ones that are like this big. Um, next Monday, I'll try to have them here on my desk so I can tell you what they are. Um, Ponzi says, I am holding on to God's promise for my perfect body in heaven. Amen, sister friend. Um, Pat says, I always laugh that I can grow hair on my chin more than I can on my head. Isn't that true? Teresa says, poor Russ, is he on? I hope not. Poor Russ. <laughs> I don't see Jeffrey on here either, so maybe that's good. <laughs> um, Debbie says, I only use magnified mirrors. I know they're depressing though, huh? It's like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Well, you guys, I got to head out. Uh, sorry, Kenny's been texting me and Dina texted me and people are trying to get a hold of me, so I need to go. But um. I just want to say thank you. You guys, these are so much fun. I always enjoy these. I always feel like totally like energized after these videos. And um, that's awesome. It's awesome. Um, but I just want to say, oh, really quick, really quick. We were at the babies and we were watching the babies on Saturday. And Mil we were trying to feed Miller some of his dinner. And he took a bite and he put it back and he goes, no, like it. And we're like, oh, wow. Okay. No, like it. Hi, Yvette. And so we told Kirsten when she came home, she goes, oh, what? All of a sudden now he has an opinion. <gasps> we're in for a wild ride with those kids, aren't we? So, but thank you all. Have a wonderful week. I should be 99.9% .9 on Facebook Live tomorrow night on HSN's Facebook um, with the cute little chickadee that's available only on their website. So make sure you check that out. Um, also, a live release tonight. So stay tuned. I hope you guys all have a great Valentine's Day. Um, Kenny said he was going to take me to dinner. So that's going to be exciting. But I just want to say, oh, and happy Galentine's Day. I love that too, Elizabeth. I think that's cute. We need a video. We need a stamp or dice it that says that. But thank you all so much. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And I will see you hopefully tomorrow on HSN Facebook Live. Facebook Live. And don't forget tonight's release. Okay. See you soon. Bye-bye.